These two examples will emphasize the difference between inverse and reciprocal. Assume f of x is a one-to-one -one function and f of negative two is equal to seven. We want to determine each value here on the left. And the notation here is extremely important. This negative one here indicates inverse function notation. This is f inverse of seven. This negative one here is an exponent. So to evaluate this, we find the value of f of negative two and then raise it to the power of negative one which would be equal to the reciprocal of f of negative two. So if we go back up to the given information, we're told f of negative two equals seven. Another way to show this relationship would be to map this, meaning for function f, if the input is negative two, the rule is the output will be positive seven. And again, this is for function f. Well, f inverse will undo function f, which means f inverse will map positive seven back to negative two which means if we map f inverse, if the input is positive seven, then the output would be negative two for f inverse. So f inverse of seven is equal to negative two. And then for our second example, we first need to find the value of f of negative two, which is given, it's equal to positive seven. So this is equal to seven raised to the power of negative one which is equal to the reciprocal of seven, which is one seventh. Another way to think of this is, you could put this over one to make it a fraction, then if this crosses the fraction bar, it's going to change the sign of the exponent, so this would be equal to one seventh. I hope this explanation helps.